Okay, here is the 100% walkthrough for Odium, which is a staff pick custom map by a lonely taco 1337 on the hardest difficulty. Pick up the weapon and the ammo. And through this door is going to be two skullfish that will spawn in. And right off the bat, when you go under the floor, the first secret. Yeah, you're going to need to do some platforming jumping. Through this door is going to be a walking zombie on the left and a shotgunner on the right. Kill the shotgunner first. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies when you expose yourself here. And kill, shoot the barrel right there. Again, two shotgun shots on the head to kill a lunger, which is the only lunger in the map. Kill all the zombies. That fiend won't move from his position, then when you get up here, the second secret will be right here. Just jump on this and this. Then charge your shotgun up. Kill the crawler and the fiend. Then when you go through this doorway, there will be a bloater right here, crawl right there, and then fiend right here. I kill the fiend first. And one shotgun shot to kill the crawler. Another crawler right there. And kill two zombies right here. Can't go through that red door yet. Go up here. And when you come up here, before going up the elevator, get ready for two crawlers and a fiend. A crawler right here, fiend right here, and another crawler right there. Charge your shotgun again. And watch out for this for this door. The fiend will still attack, even if you're behind the door. That's why I don't like picking up weapons. Kill the two fiends. Finish off the zombies with the fists, if you want to use the fists. Again, avoid as much attacks as you can. Be, aware, be aware, ready for this um, minigun zombie. There's a blue key in there. Charge up your shotgun ready for two fiends and a shotgun zombie. The shotgunner and one fiend will come your way, but one fiend will stand still. Then there's going to be a crawler downstairs. Two, two enemies. One fiend and a shotgunner who stands still. Get ready when you activate... Deactivating the force fields. Zombie and two feeds will spawn in. And I go to the vantage point through this doorway. I use the charge shot to snipe down the minigun zombie. There's supposed to be two crawlers right here. I think they got... Oh, there they are. If they see you through the window, then that's when they charge at you. 
Pick up the blue key. Go up the elevator again. Kill the shotgunner. And just shoot the bi shoot the explosive barrel next to the fiend right there. Then get ready for a fiend and a bloater. Don't go past the doorway yet. Then when you pass it, a bunch of enemies, mostly zombies and two crawlers, and a sniper zombie will also spawn in at the very back. There's also going to be a fiend. Right there. Kill the crawler right there. Use the charge shot to kill the sniper zombie. And after you kill that one, a second sniper zombie will spawn right there. Pick up the arc rail. Pick up the ammo you need right here. Two zombies right here. Then the third secret will be will require platforming jumping. Make sure you face this direction when jumping. You don't want to miss these curved platforms. And there's the third secret. A large health pack and two useless rockets. Because there's no rocket launcher or grenade launcher anywhere in this whole map. You may also get to the secret from up top, but it's much safer to do it from the ground on this level. Go through this th door. Then when you get closer, there's going to be zombies through that door and a shotgunner up there. Ready for a bunch of fiends in this room. And the fourth secret. Activate this switch right here. It'll open up a closet with a plasma gun in it. Immediately reload the plasma gun. Don't use it yet. Well, I choose not to use it yet. For later. This switch will deactivate the force fields, unlocking the red key, which is also an elevator. Now get your minigun ready for the large battle here. Two imps and a shotgun zombie are gonna spawn in, but there's gonna be w one of the shotgunners in. Fiends. Did I say minigun zombie? I meant two fiends and two shotgunners. And I kill the bloater last. Pick up the ammo that you need. Try to avoid as much damage as you can to save the health items. Using the red key to activate this switch. And the next two secrets jump here. The fifth secret down here is the auto map. Then jump on this ledge. Then more plasma ammo. Jump back here. Charge up the shotgun. Three flags.
in truth, two full charge shotgun shots to kill a bloater because they get damaged by the flames. There's gonna be Fiend just standing right there. Then two fiends standing there doing nothing. There's and there's also going to be some crawlers here. Wherever it is. Then when you activate these two switches with the two keys, a bunch of zombies, some fiends, crawlers and shotgun zombies will spawn in. Prioritize the shotgun zombies and the fiends first, if you want to. You know what? How did that not kill all of you? Epic. And make sure there's not not any more stragglers in this room, like this one right there. Did you kill everything going down the steps? And when you go up this ele go down the elevator, kill the crawler first. And punch away the zombies. through these doors kill the fiends I don't go through the doorways yet Cause there's two of these walls on both sides and the next wall over here Each closet area or garage has one fiend and one crawler. Pick up the items you need from these storage areas. Pick up the last of the ammo that you need. Get ready to fight the hunter. To do that first, take out your arc rail. Reload it first. Make sure your arc rail and plasma gun are fully reloaded. Use your Seeking a fire to take out the hunter and finish off the rest of the enemies. The saddest enemy in this room is that zombie, that melee zombie that just stands still doing nothing, unless if you walk right next to him. down the elevator when you kill everything and there you go 100% kills all secrets no deaths on ultra hard <laughs>